Hi, my name is Peter Fisher and today I would like to introduce a new webcast series that I've been putting together based on the MySQL console. Now, this series will uh, demonstrate different types of queries of MySQL, um, such as creating databases, uh, dropping those databases, creating the tables in those databases and altering their, their structure, as well as a, a few common qu uh, queries such as the select query, the insert query, update and delete and so forth. But today I would like to focus solely on the console itself. Um, now the MySQL console is available on multiple platforms, so uh, Macs, Windows and Linux. For these examples I'm going to be using the Ubuntu variant of Linux, um, but the commands within the console are much, very much the same throughout all platforms. Okay, so without further ado, let's uh, dive in. So we need to connect to the console by typing in the MySQL command. Now there's three um, common flags that are required, uh, two of them which are required, which is the minus H, uh, sorry, minus, minus U, minus H, and minus P. Uh, the first flag minus U is the username. So repeat test one. Obviously, this will be different for yourselves. Minus H is the host name. Now, this could be um, your MySQL databases could be on an external machine, and so you might be using an IP address. By default, though, it's set to the local host, which is what this is uh, currently set to. Uh, but I'm just going to include it for uh, demonstration purposes. So minus H is the local host. Now minus P is the password. Now if I leave that blank and I press enter, I get a prompt for that. So if I type that in now, press enter, we are now in the console. Now at this point we don't know what databases are available to this user. And the MySQL, uh, the console, the syntax for the console is very verbose. Um, so we need to show these databases. And we literally type in show database databases. Now every command in the MySQL console must end with the semicolon. Without the semicolon, if I was to just press enter, I would get um, one of these arrows. And these uh, arrows denote the start of a new line. It allows you to uh, construct a query on multiple lines and makes it more easier to read. So if I put in semicolon and enter, we can see here that there's two databases available to this user, the first being the information schema and the second being the test database. So we, for, this, the, for these tutorials, we're going to use the um, test database. So we literally type in use test. And we can see here that the, uh, the database has changed to point to uh, the test database. Now, we need to find out what uh, tables are available to us on, on this database. So again, we use the show command and we do show tables. And we can see that there's one table in this database and that is the user table. Um, now at this point we, we know these databases and these tables but we don't know the structures of the tables so we need to describe them. Describe, uh, describe user and we can see here that this table has two fields on it. The first is the ID and the second is the name. Um, the ID is an auto increment, it's a primary key, whereas the name is just a varchar of 255. So that's, for instance, a string. Okay, so what I would like to uh, show you now is some uh, shortcut commands within the console. So let's say, for instance, you are constructing a rather large command. Um, and something went wrong, and you wanted to clear that command away, start afresh. Because um, each time, you, if you put in that and do semicolon, you're going to get an error. In order to clear that command, so you get a, a, a clean MySQL prompt, uh, you need to use the minus C flag. So if I was to just show, if we do a select query, select all from um, user, and put in uh, where item ID is equal to 5. Now this is going to fail because um, A, the syntax is wrong and B, there is no item ID um, field in there. But let's say for um, example, this was quite a, a, a big query. So and, I don't know, um, 
uh, first name equals equals John, and we have discovered that there's an error in here, and we want to clear this out. So we literally just do minus uh, backslash c. So here we haven't um, executed the command. We have literally cleaned it off, and we've been given a fresh MySQL prompt. Similarly, if we want to um, print out this command, let's say it's it's quite long and we want to read it before we run it, um, we would type in, uh, if I was just to bring some new lines in, backslash p. Now what that does is it prints it to the screen, um, so you can print it before you run it. Um, and the last one I will show you is the backslash q. In fact, this isn't the last one. The last one I'll show you is backslash h. Backslash h is the shortcuts to the help um, section. And here we can see uh, that the backslash h is a shortcut to back backslash question mark, which is a shortcut to question mark and a shortcut to help. <laughs> um, so there's many, um, many commands that do the same thing. So I've just shown you the clear command and the uh, the lowercase p command, but you can see here that there's all sorts of these t different commands that you can run. Um, the final one I'll show you is the backslash p uh, backslash q command, which is the uh, exit, which will exit out of the MySQL console. So my name is Peter Fisher. I blog at blog.peterfisher.me.uk. Um, you can catch me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is pfwd. Uh, I appreciate any questions, comments, queries you have on this, um, this tutorial and uh, I hope to speak to you all soon.